hello friends welcome to jsp tutorial here we are starting a new series and in this series we will learn about java e technology jsp in this first video we are going to look at the jsp declarations we will see how to declare a variable and how to declare a method So this is the prerequisite. This video tells you how to prepare wildfly environment using Eclipse Neon. You can watch this video 01 in the playlist Java Servlet tutorial. So in the Java Servlet tutorial, very first video, we talked about creating the wildfly environment on Eclipse. So the servlet playlist contains 28 videos. So this JSP tutorial uh, in this series, we will uh, use some servlets also. So it will be good to learn servlet uh, when you are learning the JSP because in most of the web application, the servlet can act as a controller. So JSP will act as a uh, presentation layer. That means it's nothing but a dynamic HTML. The HTML formed on the fly and uh, the servlet will take input from the user and then it will uh, pack the data and send it to JSP. JSP will uh, display the content dynamic html content so not all jsp uses a servlet but some of the jsp examples we may end up using the servlet so you can uh, watch this uh, playlist or if you already know basics of servlet uh, you can directly uh, start watching these uh, jsp videos So once we create a JSP page, you will be seeing something like this. So we will create the JSP page in Eclipse. So Eclipse will add this page directive for us. So we call this as page directive. And for now, you don't need to worry much about this here. And if you see, this is the tag used for declaration and here you can see it's normal html head and other tags inside the html we are uh, appending the declaration part so to declare something for jsp you have to use angle bracket percentage then explanation mark here if you see we simply declared a variable And here in this portion we defined declared as well as defined a method and the method name is add numbers which takes two parameter then it performs the sum and returns that result initialized to zero then we are returning the result which is nothing but x plus y and here if you see we are ending this declaration block so this is how you perform declaration and you can see this explanation mark so this is what tells this part of uh, jsp is a declaration so we usually call these as scriptlets embedded in between these two texts so once a variable and method is declared here in this page these two can be used anywhere within this page and if you see here here we closed this block right then we opened a body tag this is normal html this is a html command here we are using the h2 tag then we are opening a p tag paragraph tag and the html content goes on here if you see we place the block so this is not a declaration and if you see we have 
percentage sign here here also percentage sign then we make use of out dot print line so this out we used in servlets also many times this is nothing but a print writer object and we are printing print line where one so where one is a simple string what happens the whatever content you are printing here this will be directed to the browser similarly here if you see the result of 10 plus 4 this is nothing but a html paragraph tag and within that we are embedding a jsp text out dot print line we are making call to add number function passing 10 and 4 so this will compute the sum and return the result and that return result we are giving it to out dot print line all right now it is a demo time so first we will open the eclipse neon here we already added the wildfly server so as part of the prerequisite video setting up the eclipse and wildfly um, so here you are seeing the wildfly server setup as part of the prerequisite we already talked about how we can set up this wildfly here we created a dynamic website jsp examples if you want to know i will create it uh, once again so file new dynamic web project so here we are giving it as a jsp examples and remaining we are accepting the defaults web module version is 3.1 other stuff we are accepting the default clicking next we will generate the web.xml then we will click finish here you can see the web project is created for us right click on the web content then choose new jsp file So here I am giving it as a variables methods dot JSP. Here you can see many JSP template in that I am choosing JSP with HTML markup. Here you can see the page directive is added for us by Eclipse IDE remaining stuffs are normal html tags so we can place our scriptlet anywhere here i am uh, placing it here after the hit tag before starting body tag i am placing our first uh, scriptlet code and if you see here we declare the variable and this is method these two are already explained in the powerpoint slide next within the body tag we are making use of this variable here and you can see how we are using the angle brackets angle bracket percentage open and close whatever we write in between that will be the jsp here the only difference is we have a explanation mark and that tells us this is a declaration part and here we are making use of the method here we are making use of the variable and here we are making use of the method so now let's save the content let's uh, start the server
So while play server is started. Next, we will add this uh, web module. So web module is added. And you can see the module is deployed here. JSP examples deployed JSP examples dot var. So the web module will be packaged inside a var file. So that's uh, deployed to our server. Here you can see JSP example started synchronized and web server also started and synchronized with all the components. Here we have only one web module. Here we have the JSP file. So here I'm directly running this. Run as run on the server. Next, finish. And you can see check variable and the methods. Content of where one is simple string. Content of where one is and this is HTML. This is static HTML and the highlighted one is the dynamic one that is coming from our uh, JSP scriptlet. Next, the result of 10 plus 4 is this is static and this 14 is a dynamic. That means here we make a call to our method, then the returned value we are sending it to the browser through out variable. And you can see all the methods are available here. Out dot print lab. That's all here uh, in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye. So at the end of each video you can take a backup of the eclipse uh, workspace um, so you can zip the workspace and if something gone wrong then you can restore from that zip location